this video we're going to cover some of the more advanced techniques in using the filter function in Google Sheets. So you can see here I have a list of company names with the number of employees. And in all of these company names, somewhere it contains the word West. So we're going to do different filter techniques on this data set with the word West as our criteria. So we're going to begin with the filter function. Uh, we have the first input, which is the data range we want to filter on. And this is our data range. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. Now, since we're using some of the more advanced techniques, what we're going to use is a function called the regex match function. And that allows you to match criteria range values based on match criteria that you specify. So our first input is going to be our criteria range, which is the data in column B. So I'm going to select that data, hit F4 to lock that down, and we'll start off simple by just matching the word West. So you can see this produces everything that matches our criteria. However, you can see there are some company names that have the word West, but it's lowercase. Uh, the problem is uh, regex match by default is case sensitive. So if we want to make this so it matches regardless of whether the text is upper or lowercase, what you can do is insert a question mark and an I in parentheses. That is the syntax to make it case insensitive. And now you can see it pulls back everything. We can also do other things like add headers if we want so that we pull in the headers of our data set. Um, we can begin this with a curly bracket and then a parentheses and select our header range and close that in parentheses, add a semicolon, and then enclose our filter function in parentheses and add an ending curly bracket. So what this does is the curly brackets allow you to input sets of ranges. So our first range is our row of headers, and then we have a semicolon, and then our second range is the results of our filter function. What the semicolon tells Google Sheets is, okay, I have two ranges here. I want them separated vertically. My first range is going to be our header rows, and then the second range is the output of the filter function. So I hit enter and you can see now we have headers. So that's nice and all, but what we'd like to do now is find only company names that begin or start with the word West. And the way you do that is on the front of your text criteria, you add the caret symbol. Looks like a triangle. So we hit enter and you can see this pulls back only companies that begin with the word West. So now what if we want to do the opposite? We want to find only values that end in the word West. We're going to remove our caret symbol from the front and now we're going to add a dollar symbol on the end of our text. And this pulls back anything in our filter that ends in the word West. So you can do things like this. You can also filter on numbers, anything that contains a number. If we wanted to do that, what we can do is within our regex match function, we want to insert brackets and then state zero to nine. So that just says anything numerical filter on this. And you can see it filters on our two company names that contain numbers. Well, what if we wanted to do the opposite? We want to filter on anything that does not contain a number. Well, what we can do is insert the not function in front of our current regex match function that filters on numbers because what the not function does is it returns the opposite of true values, which would be all the falses. So I'm going to 
add a not function on front of our regex match and now it pulls back anything that does not contain a number. What if we wanted to filter on anything that contains let's say begins with the word north and somewhere after that contains the word west. So we're going to remove our not function and go back into our regex match. Um, we're going to begin with the word north and then again with curly brackets we're going to specify A to Z, both lowercase and uppercase. And then I know one of our values has an AND symbol. And the other one has space. So we're going to enclose all of that in regular brackets. So we're telling it, OK, match the word north anything that contains any letter or and symbol or space uh, whether it be uppercase or lowercase and then the word west now you can see this currently only pulls back one of our two criteria because what we have here is north space and space west so there's more than one occurrence of space. So what we need to do is after our curly brackets is add a plus on the end of it to tell it, okay, there could possibly be one or more of either and or space. So now we do that and we get both of our criteria. So those are just a few of the advanced techniques that you can use with the filter function. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.